Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will, and we are back with some more Genshin Impact today. So today we are going to be finishing up the Ningguan story, as well as getting started on this event. Uh, I think we're going to start with this event right off the top, just because with the Ningguan thing, where it's uh, kind of streamlined, and we'll be able to probably get to that pretty quickly. And I want to see what's going on with this. As you can see on our quest log, I have been able to clear out basically everything, including one that I've been stuck on for like almost a year, which was a uh, where you had to fight three enemies and defeat them in 30 seconds, except they were like these big beefy dudes. I was barely able to beat them with like a second left. And yeah, that was hype. I was finally able to finish that up. It was the uh, underground area underneath uh, Inazuma. Which we have not went to in many, many months. Um, Alright, we have that activated. Um, Alright, and then let's do Ningguan. We only have two endings left. Boom, out. Alright, and yeah, this one was pretty short, so I'm hoping the other two are also short. So maybe half the stream will be this, and then the other half will be doing the... Uh, I still have a lot to do at the guild. How about you take a rest while I... We'll be doing the, uh, to, to, to event. Oh my god, why my brain not working today? Go! Alright. Honestly, I'm surprised. It feels like this update was pretty chill for us. Like, they didn't really do add too much. Um, I mean, like, the main event that happened, like, we were able to blast through it pretty quickly. So, ever since then, we've had, like, a lot of free time. Um... All right, we'll see how this goes. Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? That's good. I was worried you'd be a little uncomfortable. So, what's item one on today's schedule? Hmm. I imagine this must have taken Baishir completely by surprise. Sure, there's no harm in changing my schedule around once in a while. My schedule is usually very tightly packed, and any extra time I can squeeze out is spent on preparing for the future. So, it'll be quite nice to take a break. I don't often feel tired. Seeing the Mora come in has a way of making me feel... quite invigorated. Still, your idea is very sensible. Mora can only lift a weary spirit. It cannot alleviate physical fatigue. So then, the day's ahead of us. Any ideas on how to spend it? Hmm, something I never have the opportunity to do. Hmm, interesting. Before I decide, I'd like to know, what gave you this idea? Because as far as most people are concerned, Mora is the key to any and all opportunities. Okay, maybe this will be the deciding factor for the next two branches. Yes, you're absolutely right. This is what I appreciate about you. You see things the way they are, rather than how they appear. I want to do something a little self-indulgent. Is that okay by you? Thank you. All right, here it is. I've always thought it would be fun to recapture what life was like before I joined the Leo Ichi Sing. I was born into a humble family, and all the wealth you see now began with a single haul of fish. <laughs> I had to. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. 
Fishing isn't the half of it. You'd be amazed at some of the odd jobs I've worked in my time. A lot of the old folks like to brag about how I used to be their errand runner back in the day. <laughs> they were tough times, but I had a clear goal and plenty of motivation. If I didn't make any money in the morning, I'd have no food for lunch. I guess that's why I came to be so obsessed with Mora. I want to relive that time for my life. Feel some of that drive again. Take a trip down memory lane. So how about it? Will you join me? Sure, let's go LARPing as the poor. Ha ha ha! Great. Then let me lay down the ground rules. We're not to use our status or reputation in Leoa Harbor to our advantage, and we have no starting capital. The goal is to see how much more we can make under these conditions. Jesus Christ, there are so many multi-options. Ah, this is going to be a pain in the ass trying to find the final path. Uh, let's start. Okay, maybe one of these... Like, every single one that pops up, it's like, oh, I could see that go off in its own direction. Okay. But working as a day laborer could be quite dull. Why don't we go down to the docks? They periodically throw out a lot of unclaimed or abandoned goods. We might find something that we can exchange for Mora. What does it matter? Don't worry about it. It's all part of the fun. Come on, let's go down to the docks. Alright. Yeah, probably that last one is what's gonna split it, is the docks or the bank. Here we go! Oh yeah, I've been working on the bulletin board over in uh, Fontaine. And we've been making some pretty steady progress. Um, as well as I've been... Since I've decided to kind of hold off and like not do any of the... A lot of the side quests on stream and just kind of do them off stream. Since a lot of them are just pretty boring and not engaging. I've been able to get a lot of Primo Gem as well as a lot of those uh, Oculum for the Statue of the Seven. So should, we should probably stop over there. And I think we have enough to upgrade the uh, Statue of the Seven over in Fontaine. Plus, yeah, I got a lot of Primo Gem. We'll probably do some 10 drops today. Yay. Oh, let's really go right back in here. All right. Lady Ningguang, to what do I owe the honor? Are you here to inspect the goods in the warehouse? You may have to wait a moment. I, uh, I must have not gotten the message. Sorry, I won't be long. I'll grab all the paperwork right away. Calm down. No need to panic. That's not why we're here. Uh, oh, you're just looking for... for me? I haven't done anything. H have I? I mean, I don't think so. Uh... The periodic clearances. Yeah, I've been handling those strictly per the protocol. I make sure I post all the necessary notices and notify every individual that I'm required to. It used to be a huge problem, but with a bit of hard work, I've managed to reduce the amount of goods we need to clear out by at least half. It's hard to say. It really depends. Everyone has their own reasons. But as far as the warehouse is concerned, they all fall into these categories. Unclaimed goods, damaged goods, or unpaid storage fees. As for the damaged ones, I guarantee you it's nothing to do with how they're stored. It's because some things go bad more easily than others. If it sits there in the warehouse for too long, it goes without saying that it could start to affect the other goods. But that aside, even the smell is just unbearable. So, have you cleared out any of these goods recently? Um, I'm afraid we just finished clearing out all the big ones. 
But don't worry, Lady Ningguang. If you're here for an inspection, then I'm here to make it happen. Hang tight. I'll grab some of the smaller items for you right away. Hold on. Oh. I don't think he has quite grasped the nature of this situation. Lady Ningguang, I, I had a quick run through the list and cleared out some more items. <laughs> Please, inspect them at your leisure. Let me see here. Soggy food, an odd shoe, a broken mirror, a small wooden toy. It's a shame we missed the last clearance. We're down to the slim pickings now. Hmm. Some of these are true junk, but there are a few items of value here. Take this wooden toy, for example. The wood is good quality. If you took it apart, there's quite a number of useful everyday objects that you could turn it into with a little work. Huh? You want it? Well, sure. Take whatever you want. It's all getting thrown away anyway. Great. This is going well. Yes. And once we're done, we will find a merchant to give us an appraisal of their value. I have no idea what's going on here, and I'm not about to ask either. All right, okay, where is this? Okay, over on the other docks. And it just kind of came to me the other day. I have not played Bloodborne in a very long time, and I've been in the mood of wanting to replay that thing. And it came to mind, like the whole meme that went around for like quite a few years of Bloodborne 2, it's coming. And then it never did. <laughs> it's almost been 10 years since Bloodborne came out, which is crazy to me. And it's like, man, almost 10 years. I would really like a Bloodborne 2 at this point. Because man, the PS4 really knocked out the park when it comes to From Software. They like really diversified a lot in like the different kinds of soul games like Sekiro, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, and then right at the end they had Elden Ring which was still on PS4 as well. And it's like, god damn. Oh, it's a uh, duh. I'm just looking around like, where the hell is this? Right here. It's always this guy. <laughs> Lady Ning this dude gets a lot of business. Welcome to my humble store. What can I get for you? Actually, today is a little different. I'm not here to buy anything. I wanted to ask if you could take a look at some goods for me. Just take a look? What for? Oh, I see. Let me take a look then. I mean, I can take them. I have a few regular customers I can talk to. They should be able to salvage the raw materials. It shouldn't take long at all. But, uh... What's wrong? If it's too much trouble, please. There's no need to force it. No, 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 it's nothing like that. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, let's talk prices. Uh, so all of these together... Uh, huh. Hmm, I'll give you 150,000 mora. <laughs> How does that sound? Oh, well... Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, the price is negotiable, of course, so we can discuss it further. If that figure's not what you had in mind, I can, uh, bump it up a little. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm sure we can reach an agreement here. What are your thoughts? Yes. 
At most, these items are only worth a couple of thousand mora. Uh, huh? Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're really here just to sell a few things? And uh, specifically, th these things? I thought that was all code for some kind of inspection or something. I was trying to bribe you, you see. <laughs> it appears so. We can't go on like this. Let's try something else. As long as we're in Liyue Harbor, this kind of misunderstanding is inevitable. If I wasn't Ningguang, Go Sanar probably wouldn't have handed all of these over to us. And you likely wouldn't be willing to buy them either. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, you're not wrong. This goes against the rules we set for ourselves at the start. You need to go all incognito. Are there any other ways for adventurers to make Mora besides their remuneration from the guild? Great. I don't mind. Let's give it a try. Lead the way. You two have a good one. Oh yeah, I thought Ningguan was kind of mid on like the tier list of how good of a character she is. Uh, when I was looking up some like team comps and stuff, it looks like she really fell off a lot of teams. All right, I, I keep doing that. I start running and then forget like, oh yeah, it's probably going to be far away, so I should probably fast travel. And yeah, it's been a while. I hope we get news on the Genshin anime soon. Like, it's been quite a bit. This must be the place. It has been. Oh wait, no, she'd be useless. Uh, let's go. Oh, there we go. Dude, he's so OP and broken. I honestly... Like, the only way to improve this character is by... Artifacts, which he already has really good artifacts on. So it's just like... Finding, like, the one artifact that's just like that slight bit better. Because I feel like we've already got him to peak. Which is great. But he's the only character that feels like that for me. It feels like it's been a long time since I've gotten so physical. The feeling physical. of creating your wealth with your own two hands is just as exhilarating as ever. Yes, I'd say so. Everything starts out small. You focus on quantity at the outset and gradually shift to focusing on quality as your wealth builds. And let's not forget, we started with no initial capital. It's reasonable to expect building something from nothing to be highly demanding. In any case, the sight of Mora has always had a way of improving my mood, no matter what the sum is. I intend to. I'm not ready to stop yet. This time, let's try something a little more challenging. After we complete this branch, we'll take a quick break and run over to the Statue of the Seven over in uh, Fontaine and turn in the oculum we have for that, and then we'll come back and finish up the final route. I seriously just do not- I cannot comprehend her alts. It just seems so underwhelming. I just don't understand it. Like, I have to be using it wrong or something. I feel like maybe I could improve Dayluke a little bit more if I focus uh, more on his artifacts, which I already have good artifacts on him, but I feel like I could probably get him up a little bit more with them. 
Another satisfying haul. Ah, uh, what a feeling. That's very kind of you. But I know I'm no match for a professional adventurer like yourself. For me, a battle is just a form of exercise. A way to keep fit and use up any surplus energy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. Oh no, not yet. There's more Mora to be made. Hey, look! What's that hole in the ground? Oh, I see. So if we catch it, there's Mora for the taking? Bad. Oh, how quaint. That was your Beto impression, was it? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm having far too much fun to stop what I'm doing and start bickering with you, Captain. Come on, let's go get this weasel thief. Weasels away! But yeah, I was, uh... I've been really craving wanting to play some Bloodborne because last time I played it is when I went through the entire game and the DLC and I platinumed it and I ended up doing like a somewhat co-op playthrough with uh, one of my friends and it's like god damn I really want to play that so who knows maybe at some point after one of the games we're playing right now we'll uh start doing a Bloodborne playthrough Money weasel. Goodness, this reminds me of fishing. Not an easy catch. But we didn't let it slip away, and the haul is now ours. That's what counts. Let's see. <laughs> a little over a thousand mora. We can't do any serious business with this amount of starting capital. We need to keep working hard. Actually, now that you mention it, I'm suddenly a little hungry. Huh. Amidst the thrill of the chase, I didn't even notice. Wang Shuin is right there. But... Same thoughts here. After how hard we worked to get our hands on this Mora, it would be a shame to eat it all in a single sitting. In which case, I think I'll take this opportunity to show you a skill that I used to be rather proud of. Try. I have to get back to a friend. Yes, but the rule of the game is no fishing rods allowed. We're going fishing by hand. Come on, let's go down to the river. Oh sweet, I have a van down by the river. <laughs> you need to listen to your parents or else you'll end up like me, living in a van down by the river. That is one of the best SNL skits ever, which honestly is insane much that has not been good in many, many years. <laughs> Decades. to land and grill them. Here, have a taste of my cooking. A fresh catch can go straight on the grill with minimal preparation and it tastes delicious, even with no seasoning. It's a little charred, that's on purpose. I just like how it tastes. Normally, I have to make a special request to the chef if I want it to taste like this. It was nothing. 
Back in the day, I had to hurry home after work to do my household chores. Then in the evening, it was out to the night market with the family to support our stall. I was always meticulous with the most menial of tasks. My mother always loved that about me. But by the same token, she didn't love the idea of me leaving home and starting my own business. She thought it was just an unnecessary risk when I could just carry on helping out at home instead. You know, we really haven't had a lot of sibling dynamics or parent dynamics in this, like... I'm pretty sure none of the characters have children. And I think that would be an interesting dynamic to have one character that's like a kid and another character that's like the father or mother or whatever, which is like the older character class type. That would be interesting. Um, we have the... Uh, Ayaka and her brother. We have those two. And then we kind of have like the adopted siblings from uh, Fontaine of uh, Lenny, Lynette. And the third one I always forget and I feel so bad for because he's always the quiet one. <laughs> um, I think those are the only siblings in here. Um, and then there's the cat girl from Mondstadt. We met her dad, but her dad's like such a background character type but yeah that would be interesting to have a uh i don't know a more family focused like series of characters maybe or like brother like more like oh twin brothers or, or twin sisters or something like that you'd be more likely to see me pulling up outside wanmin restaurant and selling grilled tiger fish from a food cart my childhood memories run deep I'll always have a special affection for fish. They are confined to the water, and yet they live free, swimming around wherever the mood takes them. It is. I have greatly enjoyed experiencing the adventurer lifestyle with you. When I think back on all my hard work in the past, it motivates me to face the challenges that lie ahead in the future. <laughs> That sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. But, a word of warning. I am very picky about my grilled fish. I can be a tough lady to impress. Alright, we got that. Like I thought was not gonna take a long... Oh wow, that took 30 minutes! Okay. Well, I honestly thought we'd probably get that done by 20. Uh, do 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 do. Like I said, we're gonna take a quick break by running over to Fontaine. Yeah, here. I'm not, I can't. Every time I see it, it's just like, I can pronounce this. <laughs> and then I try and I'm like, nope. All right, not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a bunch of exploring, opening a bunch of treasure chests. Um, I don't even know. I might have enough for the fountain, maybe? Alright, we definitely have enough for this. I, I think I have, like, 15. Oh, nailed it. Alright. Offer! Yes! I don't know how many more we need. What level are we at? Maybe 8 or 9? I think we're pretty close. Oh, wait, no, we're at 7. Sorry. Yay! Main boy's got the, uh, liquid thingy. He's got, uh, his next constellation. Let's actually throw him on real quick. Alright, uh, yeah, and I have her on. I, I don't know. 
like i looked at a lot of team comps and she's really good for a lot of them but it just doesn't feel like i'm getting a lot of out of her like with Fischl, i'm getting the electro damage for sure it's just her alt that seems weak but then with her boba see i don't know i haven't really looked much at boba and his damage and her alt just kind of seems okay I don't know. I feel like I could definitely improve her more. Um, wait, where am I? <laughs> where am I? Who are you? What is that? This world is Man, I had main boy. I swapped him over back to Dendro just because that's so helpful with the explosions with fire. There's an insta hydro. God damn it. I I hate this so much. I go uh, right here. Boom. I do that a lot and it always like defaults down to the event tab instead. It's so obnoxious. All right, we got that. Um Let's actually check. We got 10 sigils from that. Oh yeah, I did get this. Little floaty boy. Um. Oh yeah, and I did make it up to level 10 with the card fighting stuff. Boy, I hopped back in yesterday trying to do some like TCG stuff. I got rinsed so bad. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. I fell, I fell behind in it and I really fell off. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. I just turned in um, some, so we are like really, really low. All right. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm thinking we got a lot of wishes. We got a lot, a lot of wishes. Um, obviously, I do want Shogun for sure. But, like, we already have all for Bennett. Kujasara isn't that great. And I can't remember her name. The new one with the rifle. She seems super dope. I'd really like to get her. Um. Alright, let's do it drop here. Very minimal. Okay. Uh, I believe that was the Claymore version of that sword. Bro. Wow. Noelle, I think, was maybe the first character I got the full constellation for. She drops so frequently. <gasps> hey! Oh my god, this is actually a really good pull. Holy shit. We got two weapons and a character. Look, two four stars. Holy shit. And I, that's the bow I believe I'm using on uh, Fischl, which I still need to upgrade. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, let's check on that. I'm pretty sure that's the bow. Uh... Oh, oh shit, that's the last one! Whoa, dude, we blasted through the water. We did not use water at all. Hydro is so bad. <laughs> um, Weapon? Yes, it is. Okay, it's the same weapon. And she's rank 4! This is gonna put us up to rank 5 on it. Oh, honestly, that wasn't that much of a boost. I think that was 45 up to 48. Man. All right, and then well, what's what's uh? Oh wow, okay. There we go. 
Oh, these are... Dude, I could totally get all of these so quick. Okay, this is super easy to level up. I do not level up bows, to be fair, so I probably have a bunch of uh, material for it. Um, And then the other one was a claymore. Do we have one that's at max level? Oh, we do... Damn it, it wrapped around. Okay, so we're starting to get the second a duplicate. Um, I don't know how good this sword is, though, for Claymore users. Like, there's usually only, like, maybe four, like, different four-star Claymores that a lot of these different Claymore users actually use. Um, so I don't even know if this is even worth trying to build up another one. Or maybe I should just use it as a level up material for a different weapon. Fudge. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. But hey, that was a pretty good pull. We got some weapons. We got like a lot of different things from it at least. Um, We'll do a single pull here. Okay, it's been a while since we pulled a 5 star. Well, not really, but like I've been blasting through doing 10 drops, so we should be getting a 5 star soon. Please, we have yet to get any of the Archons. Been playing this game for three years, never pulled a fucking Archon. Please! If I get a 5 star, just anyone but Gene, for the love of God. <laughs> All right, Jesus. Nope. Nope. Dang it. <sighs> Damn you. Honestly, I feel like we get better pulls on that other tab. Oh, dude, I forgot how cool her art is. All right, we got her. Unfortunately, we didn't get the other four star. That's new. Oh, snap! We got two of her! Okay, dude, we are on fire! We are pulling... At least two things per. Alright, alright, alright! Let's do this! Sweet! Okay, Kujisara I have not really looked into heavily as a character. Um, unfortunately, I don't really see many people use her as a, light, a lightning character. Like, most people just use Fischl just because her ability gives you that crow and you can swap to other characters. And her and Kujasara's is uh, just that teleport move, which honestly I'm not a big fan of. But I don't know. Maybe I should look into her a bit more. Like we're get we're getting a lot. God, how far is she in her constellation? Oh my god. Okay, we barely have any. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Um, I haven't checked the shop. Let's check shop. Um. Oh, wow, we almost have enough. Fifteen days. Ah, uh, what should I do? <sighs> you know what? I'm lame. I know it. All right. Oh, and we could always get one of these. I don't get the points of these. It's like, is it just because it's red? Like, is that literally the only difference? Alright. I'm lame. I'm so lame. Alright, let's do that. <laughs> still not a 10 drop. Oh my gosh. I mean, still not a 5-star. Uh, uh, That's crazy to me. Uh oh. Holy. No! Oh, that was terrible! We used up all our good luck on the first two. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's so lame, guys. Man. We didn't even get the new four star. Instead, we got two Kuchasaras and a fucking Noel. <laughs> Damn it! All right. Well, that sucks. Um, let's go to magic user. Um, weapons. Oh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. Nice. I think that actually might be a good book for uh, Mona. 
and that will put it up to a level five. Okay, at least we got that. All right, got it up to a level five. Okay, so trying to pull characters, but instead we end up making incremental progress with weapons instead. All right, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, I don't know how many pulls we did. We definitely have, I think that was 70. So we, we've done like 70 pulls. And I think I was corrected before. I thought the mercy rule was at 100, but apparently the mercy rule is at 90. So we literally have two more 10 drops. And it's like a 50-50 shot whether or not we'll get a 5 star now. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> because it's like, bruh. Alright, let's go and- oh wait, we already- wait, battle pass. Yeah, one of those was number 50. I should have paid attention to this. Shoot, yeah. One of those was number 50. God, I really wish the battle pass would hand out more of the wishes. All right, all right, all right. Um, which means we just have one more path to go down with Ningguan, and then we will have all of hers. Wait. I went over one too many. Um, let's do the final path before we get the reward. Um, start from zero. All right, and then the other path is going to take us to the bank. There's usually one path that allows us to fight, and I think that's the one that we just did, so... I'm assuming the next one's just going to be a lot of talking. I'm just changing. All right, we're gonna kind of try to skip through a lot of this. Did you sleep well. There's nothing to worry. So, what's I? Hmm. All right. I imagine this must have sure that my schedule is usually very tight. So it'll be quite nice. To, I don't often feel. Still All right, we need to be careful so I don't accidentally select the wrong. The days ahead of us. Any idea? Something I mm, interesting because as far as most people are concerned, yes, you're. At, I want to do something a little. Thank you. Okay, luckily I this. Humble family. <laughs> I had fishing isn't the half of it. A lot of the old folks like to brag about. They were a tough time. If I didn't make any money in the morning, right. I'd have no food for lunch. I guess that's why I came to be so obsessed with Mora. I want to relive that time for my life. Feel some of that drive again. Take a trip down memory lane. So how about it? Will you join me? Great. Then let me lay down the ground rules. We're not to use our status or reputation in Liyua Harbor to our advantage, and we have no starting capital. The goal is to see how much more we can make under these conditions. All right, I feel like... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so all those multiple choices were just pretty linear, bringing us all the way back to this decision. I can see why you'd suggest that. You're thinking I could use my knowledge of how Mora works to my advantage and make a lot of money there. But Northland Bank is a special case. 
I rather suspect I would not be welcomed there. Yes, and also... Never mind. I'll just show you. It won't eat up too much time. I expect they still hold a grudge against me to this day. Let's go over to this one. Alright, let's get up there. We haven't went there in a long time. I think maybe was it the main story? When we were in Leeway? Was the last time we went there? further trouble for the Fatui. With all due respect, too much official pressure will risk driving our bank out of business. There's no need to be so hostile. I'm just here to talk business. So, are you in business or not? That depends on the proposal, and it's not my decision alone. But first, tell me, why should we believe that you really are here for business? Because if you're here to make us suffer huge losses like last time, then I'm sorry, but none of us here can afford that. Straight to the point, I see. Works for me. Traveler, we're leaving. Let's not waste any more of our time here. Do you see what I mean now? Their attitude was just as I expected. That's for sure. Although our diplomatic relations with Snezhnaya haven't broken down completely, I dealt them a rather ruthless blow with the size of the reparations payment I imposed. This sum was paid by Northland Bank, so they are still wary of me to this day. Yes, with some exceptions. But that is more or less correct. If you encounter them in any other nations during your travels, be on your guard. They are more than just a commercial organization. That's okay. My intention here was to show you some of the repercussions of that great battle. But that's quite enough politics for today. Let's get back to our fun little survival game. Now that you mention it, yes. We're being watched. Hmm, what are they plotting this time? Hmm, my thoughts exactly. But we need to be discreet. If they realize we're onto them, then we'll lose the element of surprise. Let's act natural, determine who our tail is, then lure them somewhere more deserted so we can catch them. Keep moving, just walk forward at normal pace and don't do anything to give away that we suspect anything.
quick. Take five steps over to the other stall. We're definitely being followed. <laughs> okay, I think we have a few potential suspects. There's a lot of foot traffic here, but if you look closely, you'll see only a handful of people have been watching us constantly. But I'm still not sure which of them is our tail. It's a cat. <laughs> He's pretending to sunbathe back there, but really. Agreed. Whoever it is will continue to follow us. Oh, it's that person. down a little further but let's stay calm until we're 100 percent sure it shouldn't take much longer are we going over to the funeral parlor or across the bridge Let's get out of his line of sight and sneak up on him. Don't get the wrong person, though, or all our efforts will have been for nothing. doing come now did you really think we wouldn't notice you sneaking around what I, i'm not doing anything i don't know what scheme northland bank has in the works and i don't know what they're paying you but let's make a deal how cooperative you are now decides how much immunity i give you when this gets investigated uh uh or do you seriously think Northland Bank won't throw you to the wolves when push comes to shove? Why don't you weigh the pros and cons and give me a clear answer before I retract my offer? So sorry, Lady Ningguang. My assignment was just to follow you. I promise. That's it. When you showed up unannounced at Northland Bank, everyone was instantly on high alert. We figured you must be up to something, but your brief conversation left us none the wiser as to your intentions. We couldn't just overlook it. We had to get to the bottom of it before we could put our minds at rest. I know they're weary of me, but this is still an overreaction, surely. This all feels very suspicious. There must be more to this than he is letting on. Hmm. I only took you there to demonstrate how tense things are. Somehow we only tested the waters, but ended up with the catch of the day. Is there anyone else following us besides you? Yes. They would have seen this and reported back. Oh my god. <laughs> the longer they have to react, the fewer clues they'll leave behind. This dude sucks. It's like, as soon as you catch him, oh my god, don't hurt me, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> it's like, really? We didn't even start talking to you. No time. I'll just have to improvise. Keep him with you. Do not let him slip away. We must improvise. Luckily for you, I was in the theater <laughs> and I can act. 
Whenever I think of the pompous acting voice thing, I always think of Calculon from Futurama. Because I am a actor. <laughs> With my amazing acting talent. Are you saying that Ningguang hasn't done anything? Impossible. She wouldn't have shown up here out of the blue without good reason. Keep investigating. We must ascertain her intentions. We must be as maximum sus as possible. So much commotion. This must be an important meeting. <sighs> oh, great. Oh, it looks like I wasn't supposed to be privy to the contents of this particular meeting. This simplifies things. So, you are here to investigate us after all. Where did you get wind of this? That doesn't matter. What matters is that I made a brief and inconsequential visit, and your first reaction was to immediately arrange a sizable surveillance operation with myself as the target. You couldn't have advertised your guilty conscience more clearly if you'd tried. You may as well come clean. You know I will not turn a blind eye to any violation of the rules in Liyua Harbor. <sighs> even if we cooperate with her investigation, she's bound to find problems even where there are none. Well, if you're such a stickler for the rules, you can carry out your investigation by the book. The Northland Bank has no obligation to cooperate, even with a member of the Lira Chising. Fine by me. Mm. Then I'll take my time. But you'll be begging to tell me everything by the time I'm through. Oh, really? Wow, I always say how it feels like they always go like an extra step or two beyond where I think they should stop. I honestly thought this was just started and this was going to be a long one. Holy shit. Really? Wow, that was... I thought that was like working up to actually some scheme that we were going to stop. That That's actually... That might be the first time it stopped early for one of these and it's a little disappointing. Friendship power. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. This is the uh, new event that's popping off right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, blue door. That makes sense. Oh, dude, the rapier class. So there's two new enemies in this game that are rapier users. Holy shit, are they hard to use. We've run into them before, but I ran into one off stream that was ridiculous. Like, it literally took me 10 minutes of just, like, constantly using like our specialty moves and ulting on them to kill them and they could easily just take you out with like two swings it's like god damn they finally put a enemy in the game that was like super difficult i don't even know if the person respawns or if it was a one-time fight it was ridiculous they were like level nine i think it was, it, they said it was level 93 but they were definitely way more difficult like their uh, number had like a special border around it that I never seen before. All right, let's just kind of fly through this. Like it's a blue door. We all know what's going to happen. We're going to go into the blue door and we're going to do some sort of fight. Like that's what this is. We don't really need this information. Yeah, I'm so pumped that I was able to clear out all those quests. Like I said, one of them was in there for like over Two years, like ever since we were in Inazuma. Like it's been a long time. And I was finally able to clear it out by the skin of my teeth. Alright, yep. Okay, so there's two different classes. Or two different uh, sets. 
All right, so unfortunately, yeah, it's just gonna be... All right, that's... And it doesn't even look like there's a reward for doing anything past a thousand score. Okay. Blood. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, hey, okay. We'll use her. Um. Ah, let's just throw her on there, whatever. Whatever. We'll just test this out. Plus, we're using her. She's a newer character, might as well see. What she got? Oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, these are level 40, what? Wow, she is really good. Wow, her ult is like really good. Wow, dude, her ult is broken as hell! I don't even need to switch, like... Yeah, these are level 40, so it's not a surprise that they're getting, like, wiped out pretty quickly. Wow, you have to get like really into the flow for this. Alright, I think we got 2,000? Yeah. Wow, I, I really popped off pretty slowly there. Oh, okay, so it's both rounds. I was gonna say, like, you'd really have to do a lot of damage pretty quickly.
yeah, this was not the best setup. I wasn't sure what we were going into. Obviously, having characters that have their abilities carry over. Would be the best. We didn't even make it to 500, and I think 6 is the top. Yeah, let's exit out. Alright, so, yeah, that that's what that is. Um, it's just... It's basically an alt fest to build up score. Alright. Oh, yeah, dude, 6,000 is the cap. Alright. And, yeah, as per usual, since it's Blue Door, I'm not going to continue doing that on stream. Um, That's a lame. That's a big fat lame. Oh, man. Okay, we're pretty early. Yeah, I messed up the whole timing because we ended the Ningguan thing early on the last stream. Um, let's... Okay. Well, we just did multi-quests, so let's do one of these stories. Um, let's go and do... Hmm. I don't know if he is going to be in leeway or, uh... Not in Azuma. Why? I always forget this country's name. We were there for a year, for fuck's sake. Hold on. Sameru. I always think it starts with an E for some reason, but I'm thinking of that. Yeah, I don't know if the doctor is going to be in Sameru or Leeway. So. Because, like, we were just in Leeway, and I don't want to do another one that keeps us there. So, let's... Let's do her. Or... Nilu, honestly, I'm not super excited for hers. You know, let's just get hers out of the way. And then we'll come and do one of these three in Fontaine. And then we'll do, um, Baijou. Or Baijou? However you pronounce it. All right. Honestly, I have barely went back to Sameru since we left. Like, at most, I went back there for the desert just to grind for some characters. Outside of that, I have not went back there. And it's like, I, I usually troll around Mondstadt, uh, Inazuma, and sometimes Leeway, depending. Uh, but Leeway is usually pretty low on the list. But yeah, Sameru, I have barely went back outside of just some desert area collectible stuff. Alright. And I wanted to do that just so we could uh, add that key. Uh, but yeah, we got that going. Alright, so we got that started. Okay, wow, all right. I like that they give you the warning, because yeah, that was a massive problem with some of these quests in Fontaine where it's like cool like like the very first time we went into the opera house that was like an hour and a half straight where you could just like not get out and you just had to do the fucking quest all the way through that was some bullshit so I like that they're giving us warnings now saying hey this is gonna be a while um but yeah shit so previously, there's been ones that have been like up to an hour and a half. So I think I might end today's stream really early today. And then uh, th this one, this one's not a time thing. This is just a permanent thing. So I think we'll just keep this on the back burner and then we'll do Lilu's or Layla's. I can never remember her name, how you pronounce it. Anyway, we'll do her quest uh, next stream. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for day 1,232 of streaming in a row. Thank you for coming out and hanging out, everyone. Uh, sorry for it being such a short stream. Tomorrow we're going to get back into Smash, which I have really wanted to get back into Smash. Yesterday, I got tilted so fucking bad so quickly 
from the beginning of that stream. And that sucked. It sucked for me, it sucked for you guys. It's like, that was bad, that was a bad stream. It's just like, when they put in cheap gimmicks, and like, that's the thing that's like, fucking you over at like, completing something, it just gets so frustrating, because it's like, this is a fighting game. It's not even the fighting part that's hard. <laughs> At least where I'm at right now. Um, but yeah, I want to hop back into that, play that. Um, really can't wait to do that tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, more Smash tomorrow. Uh, it's our first time playing it. First time playing Ultimate or basically any Smash ever since the original back on the Nintendo 64 when I played it in the 90s. So we are learning all the characters, all their moves and all the other whatnots. For the first time in Smash, making our way through the whole uh, st main story and all that. Trying to collect all the characters. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we're going to get back in here and start this story quest. And then, uh, yeah, some more on Friday. And then this weekend, we're going to hop back into Gotham Knights, which I've been really, really liking. Uh, I've liked the story. They've actually been doing some really interesting stuff with some of the characters. I like the designs of most of the characters so far. I actually like them more than what they did in uh, the Arkham series. Like Clayface, so far his story has been really interesting, which is like, yeah, man. Like you can do some really interesting creative stuff with some of these people. And it's like, thank you. Thank you for doing that. But uh, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Like always, links down below for my Twitter, as well as links over my YouTube channel where all my previous streams are uploaded and archived over there. And I will see y'all uh, tomorrow with some Smash Brothers. If not, I will see you guys back here on Thursday with some more Genshin Impact. See you.